It's gonna be, oh god damn it, he's not wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Alan Henderson! Welcome to another episode of Comedic Combat, the annual roast battle from Vienna Chuckles. This week's contenders are Alan Henderson versus Jack Holmes. Check it out. Let us know down below who do you think won this battle. Leave a comment, share. We haven't decided yet. We really need your help. Also, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for new videos like this every single Tuesday. Who's gonna win? The guy who looks like he sends dick pics to himself? <laughs> or the human mustard stain? Only time will tell. audience's jokes, not show them one. <laughs> like, Alan's been running comedy shows in Bratislava for the last year and a half, and since he took over, there's been a significant drop in quality and attendance. Alan, you are better at removing laughter from Slovakia than the Soviet Union. <laughs> Like, congratulations to him, though, because in all seriousness, he's booked Louis C.K. to perform in Bratislava for a couple of weeks. Don't boil this opportunity, because if you're lucky, it'll be the first time in your career something funny drops off on you. <laughs> Ooh, doggy, man, that was mean. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Jack, you know. Like, Jack's a great guy, he's a great fan, and he's a self-proclaimed feminist. Which I think is a beautiful thing. Right now his version of feminism is dating a near-blind Eastern European girl and disappointing her every night. <laughs> they moved in together three months ago. One week later she moved to Spain. <laughs> but he has done a lot for the feminist movement. I will give him that. From the time he was 16 years old to the time he was 23 years old, he didn't have sex with a single woman. <laughs> and I can't think of anything that's done more for women because we can all agree the patriarchy is bad. We can all believe that having men above us is terrible, but I can't think of anything women can get behind more than the idea of you not being over them. <laughs> you are the worst preacher for the Westboro Baptist Church I've ever seen in my life. I am a feminist, but I feel like I need to do some of the wrongs that Alan's done during his life. He met his wife by stalking her until he fucking took a job at IBM so he could be closer to her. Which exactly of the Fifty Shades of Grey was white trash? <laughs> like, Alan, you are a fucking creep. Your dick has been on more young women's phones than Candy Crush. <laughs> Numbers don't lie. <laughs> True, man. Fucking Jack, though. Like, I, like, okay, I'm not a great feminist. You're a wonderful feminist. Like, Jack went on his European vacation when he was a kid. He went and lived in a feminist hippie collective when he was 18 years old. He was kicked out of it three weeks later for being too disgusting to live with. <laughs> For context, one of his roommates was saving her period blood for an art installation. So basically a room full of people looked at a bathroom with used tampons collected together like frankfurters and a gallon of fucking menstrual blood dripping down the side of the sink and decided that was less disgusting than being in your general sink. <laughs> high blood pressure, but the upside is you are one year further away from the very obvious midlife crisis that you went through. <laughs> so hey, perhaps it's time to stop dr dressing like the world's worst plus-size H&M mannequin. <laughs> and you are so desperate to be young again, you would turn back time and then you had to attend high school in Parklands. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean spirited. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing to that level, man. I think that's wrong. <laughs> Jack hasn't had a sexually transmitted disease test since he was 16. Mm. 
just a fact. <laughs> Which really begs the question of how you go about judging how diseased your dick is. I think at this point, the methodology he does is he waits till a woman has an itchy pussy and is angry at him, which based off his personal hygiene and poor sexual performance is every fucking time. <laughs> Get the notes. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, you know, I had multiple jokes. I was just seeing which way I was going to respond to it. Where's my fucking beer? Um, oh yeah, that's going to save you now. You're not, not going to be able to hold on to that to stop yourself from sinking at this point. Alan's a, Alan's a dad, so uh, Alan also grew up without a dad, so that's something you and your son have in common. <laughs> Alan, Alan spent half of this year on tour, and then he spent a month at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, and this year left his son unattended at home so he could go home and have a drink. Joseph Fritzel was a more attentive father than <laughs> runs in Alan's family, which is fantastic news, because that's the only chance your son is ever going to have of feeling like someone's there with him. <laughs> facts, man, facts. <laughs> Look, I'm proud of you, man. Like, I'm proud of you. you. You've done a lot as a comedian. You've done well for yourself, like you're working around. And, you know, a lot of people expect great things out of you. You know, Jack's full name is Jack Thomas Holmes. His parents gave him such a dignified name because they expected great things out of him. Didn't work out. <laughs> the number one proof, though, that great things were not coming to Jack is he is allergic to penicillin. <laughs> what this basically means is, despite your parents having the highest hopes in the world for you, your body decided at birth that if ever you got a disease, it was going to do everything it fucking could to make sure you didn't survive it. <laughs> Are there any other like, upper jokes you want to do about me? Or... That's poor. You smell like carrots. <laughs>